crying where those clouds all disappear Angel, I angel Where will it lead us from here With no loving in our souls And no money in our coats well, you can't say we're satisfied But Angel I Angel You can't say we never tried Hi, how you doing? Justin here today. We are checking out one of the most beautiful acoustic guitar intros, I think, of all time. It is Angie, of course, by the Rolling Stones. Uh, really superb playing here by uh, Mr. Keith Richards, of course, uh, all-time legend. It's quite a tricky intro to get together, okay? a lot of It's kind of easy to play badly, but if you really want to nail it, it's going to take you a little bit of practice, or at least it took me quite a lot of practice. Um, the big deal really is playing it slowly, and I would really recommend playing it along with the original recording slowly, so you can pick up on the right timing and stuff, because it's really the, it's the timing more than the notes that makes it a little bit, uh, you know, tricky. Um, definitely be easier if you got the tab, so, uh, you know, I hate to, you know, I don't like to push my products and stuff, but uh, the old Justin Guitar Vintage Songbook uh, definitely be pretty helpful on that because I've tabbed out the whole of that little intro section on the first part of the first verse. So uh, I, I'm going to go through it with you nice and slow, so you'll probably be able to pick it up from that, but uh, if you can, uh, you definitely want to be checking out the uh, tab that's in the songbook as well because that'll definitely help. Um, I'm going to start off with the intro. Normally I kind of start off with explaining the whole tune, but the intro is the really iconic bit and it's got most of the kind of funny chords and stuff that we use through the rest of the song, so I think it's probably uh, just a bit easier to start off uh, with that intro and then uh, deal with the rest of the tune after that. So let's get to a close-up, figure out how to play it. Okay, I'm going to go through this once through and just talk about the notes, then I'm going to talk more about the rhythm. So, uh, you know, you probably need to write this down if you haven't got the tab in front of you, because it's pretty tricky, but uh, for those of you that haven't got the tab, I'll do my best to try and explain it, but uh, it's a bit of a tough one to do just from uh, a video, this one. So, anyway, we're starting off with a harmonic at the 12th fret of the 5th string. Okay, if you don't know how to do harmonics, go and check that out on my website. Then we've got a A minor chord. We strum the chord. We play the thinner string. Chord again. Then we've got the one note on the fourth string. Then we're putting our little finger down on the third fret of the thinner string. We're going to play the thinnest two strings. And then the open E string again, the open thinner string. Then we're going to play the third string the second string, and then twice on the fourth string. Okay, so that first section, harmonic, A minor, open, strum, fourth string, little finger goes down, off, third string, second string, fourth string twice. Now we've got this interesting E7, open, thickest E string, So here we've got the third finger down in the fourth fret uh, of the third string and first finger down in the third fret of the second string. Important that you get those fingers right. So we play open thicker string, then third string, second string, first, second, third. And then our second finger goes down in the fourth fret of the thicker string. And then we strum that little chord again. So E. And then we've got this little... So it's... I, I think actually what was intended was open thinner string, third fret, and then the open G string, the open third string, but it's definitely muted on the record, so you get... So that first finger's probably just lifted up. I usually play it and play that note. Sometimes I even leave the third finger down and go... Just sounds nice, you know, I don't think it's too important to follow it exactly like the record, but I'm trying to give it to you as close as I can to the recorded uh, version. So, harmonic. Okay, 
Now we've got this little interesting G sus4. So to play this one, we want the third finger down in the fifth fret of the fourth string, little finger down on the fifth fret of the third string, first finger is barring the third fret on the thinnest two strings. Got that fourth string, third, second, first, second, third, fourth. One and a two E and a. It's a rhythm, but we'll go more about that in a second. Then we move that whole shape down two frets, and we just play the middle two strings, and then lift off the little finger and put the second finger down in the second fret of the third string. So G, move it back, F sus, F. Then we're plucking the thinnest two strings on the first fret. Then we pluck fourth string, third string, first string. And then we're changing to this C sus chord. So we've moved our third finger to the third fret of the fifth string, little finger on the third fret of the fourth string. We're gonna have an open G and our first finger on the first fret of the second string. <laughs> this is a, a killer of a tune to try and teach, I tell you. Um, and we're going to play the fifth string, fourth string, first string, uh, second string, and then remove little finger and put down the second finger. And we're going to play that uh, note, which is the second fret of the fourth string and the open G string together. So from this, uh, let's go from the G. So that's rhythmically really interesting. Then we got, we just pluck the thinnest two strings, move our second finger onto the second fret of the fifth string, uh, remove the rest of the fingers except the first finger, and we'd pluck fifth string, fourth string, second string, third string. Okay, now I'm going to do that one more time, just real slowly all of the way through for you to have a bit of a look at, and then I'm going to go through and explain the count of the rhythm. So, A minor. it nice and slow again really but you know you, you don't have to do the count thing if you want to do it just listening to the record and playing along with it you'll get it now that you know the notes if you listen a lot and that's to be honest that's how I learned it was just listening a lot and playing along but uh, if you want the count the thing to remember um, is making sure that you write the rhythm on correctly uh, again it's a lot easier if you got the tab there but we this is not counted this is just kind of like beat four but it's uh, in free time but the rhythm one and two E and a three E and a four E and a. Okay, that first bar. One and two E and a three E and a four E and a. Okay, second bar when it goes to the E seven. One and a two E and a three four E and. Okay. One, a one, and a two, E, and a three, four, e, and. Then we go to the G. One, and a two, E, and a three, and four, E, and a. That's the bit where most people kind of muff up that intro, is that those two, which is the and a. And this part's really tricky, you know, to, to get this so it's sounding right. One more time, so one, and a two E and a three and four E and a one E and a two E and three and four E and a. That's that two bar section. It's, you know, it takes quite a lot of practice. One more time. One and a two E and a three and four E and a one E and a two E and. And four E and a. Okay, 
it's quite sticky. One more time, right the way through, nice and slow. got to do it with a record there's not really any other way around this one as far as whether you're doing down and up picks you know that you could specifically pick in you know correctly which would be down picks or down strums on the beat and the and and up strict uh, up picks on the e's and the ups which would give you this down 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 up down up 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 down up down down up down up Oh, now, see here straight away I've broken it already. I'm doing down, 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 up, up. I'm changing it every time I'm doing it. So, you know, the, the general rule, like I said, particularly on that first part, I guess, down, 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 up, down, up, 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 down, up. I think that kind of feels nice and natural under the hand, but the next part. You know, whatever feels comfortable. Down, 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 up, 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 down, down, up, up, down, down. I can't even, I can't even manage to say it, you know. So it's really, it's not following a very specific pattern there. So, uh, you know, experiment and feel what's comfy for you for the strumming. Um, the very first verse introduces another new idea as well, which I'll, uh, this little... So we've got A minor. So it's just a very nice little riff that kind of incorporates in there. So it's just A minor on beat one, two, three, and the four E and, which is just the uh, uh, fifth fret thinnest two strings, three times, third fret, uh, again, the thinnest two strings, and finishing on the fifth fret of the third string. E, G, F. And now we're gonna talk a little bit more about the actual kind of strumming part that's being used for the verses. So, uh, while it's fun and it can be a good exercise to work out exactly what's played all of the way through the verse, and it's something I did do a long time ago, most of it's uh, kind of forgotten now, uh, you really want to be playing the verses a little bit freer. So as long as you're playing A minor and then adding that little riff, so one, two, three, and a four E and, that would be the count, three and a four E is the count that you're after on the A minor. One, two, three, and a four E and E7. Very often just play like a regular E7. I don't, you know, you don't have to. And in the verses, I don't think it uses that G sharp all the time. I definitely put it in there sometimes. Again, doesn't really matter if you want to do it. You can have A minor, just a regular E7. Now, when it comes here to the G, if you're going to play G sus4, you either want to be doing it this way or here. Very often I just play it like that, which is using the third finger on the thicker string, muting the fifth string, open, open, first finger in the first fret of the second string. That's what makes it a G sus4, and little finger on the third fret. That's very commonly how I play the G sus if I want to play it in open chords instead of up here. With the F sus, there's not really many options. You can reach over with your thumb and put the bass note in if you want to be real clever. Uh, when it comes to the C, you want to start with a C, regular C chord and add the little finger down after you've got the fully formed C chord. Okay, to get that used to that shape of the C sus4, and it's not really a C sus4 if you include that open thinner string, which is definitely ringing out sometimes on the record. You know, it's really a proper C sus4 should be 
that with the first finger laying flat over as well. But, uh, you know, we're just talking about technicalities of naming stuff. It doesn't really matter as long as it sounds good. So C chord. And then it's just little finger down for the sus, four, regular C, lift off your second finger for C sus two, if you want. Back to C, and then we've got this G sus four over B. I guess it should be G six sus four. I mean, it's got lots of different names, or C over B. Uh, it's all the same thing. Second finger, second fret of the fifth string, open D string, open G string, first finger in the first fret of the second string, and open E, open thinner string. That would be your kind of little bridging chord. Okay, I'm just going to turn my page back over there so uh, I can see it. So we got A minor, E7, G, there's the F sus4 to F, and then the C, doing the little sus4, C, with the little G sus4 piece, but the C sus, oh my lord, G sus4 with a B bass, bridging chord. If you want to do it like the record again, E7, G, F, Into the chorus to G. In our soul, and O D minor, in our A minor. C, you can F for saddest G. So that chorus, just one more time in case you didn't catch those chords, with no G chord, two, three, four, to D minor for half a bar, to A minor for half a bar, C for half a bar, to F, and going to G for a whole bar, A minor, just like the verses, E7, G, F sus to F, C, with that little C sus4. Sometimes if you see me do it, I'll do it. Sometimes I leave out that low C and I mute it with the tip of my third finger. It doesn't really matter which way you do it, you know, all of those things are, are going to be working fine. Now there's one other section that I should mention as well, the bridge, where it goes to a D minor. And yeah. I still love you, A minor. D minor, everywhere I look, I see your A minor. D minor, there ain't a woman that comes A minor to you. C, so come on, F chord, try your G. back into our little riffs and stuff again. Now, for the strumming, I'll just give you a kind of a, a rough pattern that I think works real good, which is doing this, um, I'll do it just on the A minor, which is down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. One, two, E, and a three, and four, E, and a down. Two, E, and a three, and four, E, and a down. Down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. Just do it one more time slower. One, two, E, and a three, and four, E, and a down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. Okay, that's just kind of a, a pattern to get you started if you want to play it a little bit, you know, simpler. Uh, it's fairly close to kind of the kind of thing that you get on the record, but there's lots of parts where you're doing like that. Where you just can't stick to a pattern like that, so it kind of becomes a little redundant. So uh, I think that's about it. 
Well, I hope you managed to follow along with that okay. It's a pretty complicated little tune, this one. You know, it's, it's kind of easy to simplify. If you want to simplify all of that stuff and leave out the G sus4 and just play a regular G, leave off the S sus4 and play a regular F, and leave out all of the, the C sus4s and sus2s and just play regular C, you know, it'll work. You can do it that way and it'll sound fine, you know, for, for a, a barbecue strum along. But I think a lot of the interesting things in this tune are those kind of extra elements, those ornaments to the chords that kind of make it sound a little bit more interesting and they're not that difficult the, the getting the rhythm right on the intro that's that's a little bit more challenging you know but uh, being able to play the rest of the tune I don't think you too many of you will find it really difficult if you do what I suggest all the time which is practicing it real slow you know using some software to take the original song and slow it down is a really good idea particularly like the intro for this one I played loads and loads of times with the record slower in order to try and get that rhythm right and make it feel nice as well because once you get it right it's then making it feel kind of natural and loose that uh, that's the really the challenge with it you know so uh hope you have fun with it and uh big thank you to steve for singing it at the top there i played in a rolling stones tribute band for a long time uh, and steve was the singer of that band so he knows this stuff pretty damn good you know uh hope you enjoy it i'll see you for plenty more lessons very soon take care of yourselves bye bye